All right, hey guys, what's up? I'm back with another tutorial. Uh, Bioshock 2 is this time. Uh, not Oblivion for once, so uh, let's get to it. I'm on GameTouch.com. I was uh, uh, posted a thread about, you know, asking if they, somebody could put their saves up and whatnot. Just so I could test my theory and make sure I was right before I posted this tutorial up. And, you know, everybody just I lead people in the wrong way, which I don't want to do. So I was, just, again, making sure. And um, I told everybody you, you, you'd be thanked in the tutorial and um, you would receive 99 Adam in cash. And, I, I, and I'll get to that. But anyways, like, uh, like always, you have the people that just post useless shit, which is fun. Uh, it doesn't bother me too much. Um, and then modern here, Modern War 2 Prestige Modder. Big shout out. Big thanks. See, he happily complied and didn't post useless shit. And I gave him my thanks, and I gave him 99 of everything, or Adam and Cash, really. But I gave him Max. And then Tanya is just a waste of breath. I'm not even going to get started on that. And Bayonetta, thanks a lot. Much appreciated. Uh, I already knew how to do this, but thank you. And like he said, he is correct. All Bioshock threats were deleted and are locked. Mine's locked right now. It will be deleted here shortly, probably. And as you can see, big shout out to Naden. Much, much gratitude to you. See, he he sees exactly what I'm saying. And if you ever do see this, I'll show you the reason why they're deleting and whatnot. But uh, as you can see, he he knows what I'm thinking. But next, um, go to the next page. As you can see, it's been locked by him. And uh, pretty much tell me to purchase it and, and if I w wanted to purchase it and do it then I would have done it a long time ago but I just don't want to do that and because I want to manually hex it if that's a problem and I'm not flaming on anything I'm telling people not to flame me like they always do and uh, if you're watching this and I'll show you why they're being deleted and locked as you can see Hello, I'd like to ask if my thread was closed other than cover up excuse of buying IP. And he just answered, or I just answered that. Uh, they're not going to have a topic on the board showing a mod Bioshock 2 manually when we have a tool specifically for VIP users. So it makes them become obsolete. So basically, saying if a new game comes out and you make a tutorial for it on how to hex edit and whatnot, and you put this tutorial up, it will, and you Modio just happens to have a VIP tool for it, then your thread's gonna get deleted pretty fast or locked or just erased from complete memory. So, uh, just heads up if that does happen to anybody. So, I'm guessing I'm not allowed to make a Oblivion tutorial on how to edit your stats or anything because that's a Modio VIP tool too. But whatever, I'm still a supporter of the site, it's a great site, other than this and whatnot. Yeah, definitely Mario. It's a great program. And uh, now to the tutorial part. So, first thing, you need to get the save, or you need to save your Bioshock save, obviously, like always. And uh, you need to save it. And then, but before you save it, remember how much, uh, how much, uh, what you call it. Wow, I can't remember. Uh, Adam and Cash you have. I have 484 Cash and 385 Adam. Because I've already edit edited this before. So, make sure you have that much. Or you... <laughs> sorry. You know uh, how much you have. Alright, save it. And then get your save off your... Uh, off your hard drive or your memory unit. I use export like I've always said. And... Uh, so get your save off, drag it, drop it. I already have it on there because I've done this. All right, so now that you have it on your desktop or whatnot, wherever, um, open up a program like Modio just to get the package out. Like I said, Modio is a good program. It's not. Anyways, uh, drag it into Modio, or a program that can get the file package content out of it, and then. Uh, get 
as you can see, you're going to have a folder and then you're going to have two different different packages and I guess you could say I don't, I'm not really sure. Anyways, uh extract the the main save out, all right? Uh let's see. I'll just go extract it to my desktop. Save. As you can see, it, it created my save. I'll put it right by there so you can see it. And as you can see, uh I already did Modern War Prestige modders. Uh I already did his pro or his save that he gave me. Big shout out, thank you very much for that. Um so the next thing is uh is on the main save you have to decompress it because it is compressed. It's not checksummed or anything. It doesn't have a checksum, it's just depressed. So the program you use that is offset packet UI U UI, sorry. And um, I'll provide it, everything in the description, like always. So open uh, Office package, UI it, and then create a folder on your desktop or something. Like it has really has to be on your desktop for the UI. I'll just explain it later. But create a random folder that just it doesn't matter what my, the name is. Mine's uh, ADSDF or whatever. So the next thing you're do is open open your main save bsg dot bsg right there there's mine so put that in the as the input select the output of it and this is your folder that you just created that's random um forewarning you're gonna have over like 200 dat files or 100 over 100 or 200 so make sure you, it, it is in the folder unless you just want your whole desktop filling with the DAT files. All right. So this is fine as it is. This is fine as it is. Just start, and you shouldn't get anything. And the program should should look like it's freezing. All right, but it's really not. All right. As as you can see, it's not frozen anymore. You can move it and whatnot. And if you open up this folder that you made, you're gonna see a lot of DAT files like I was talking about. All right. So then, these are the decompressed files that are the, the yeah decompressed files of it. So anyways, next thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna find a very odd file out here, the, a different file, the one that looks completely different from most of all of them. Usually, it, from the ones I just did, it starts with like five zeros. Alright, so as you can see, this is this is the odd one. Um, it'll have a lot of zeros. It'll, it'll be the only one of its kind, pretty much. As you can see, there's four zeros. All I'm doing is finding. I'm going up to here, find. Uh, you can, like, look through it manually, but I choose just to um, do it with a find. It's a lot easier. So as you can see, I'm just going to put zero, 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 five times, I think. Uh, most of them that I've done so far with modern warfare at least if it would provide me with a save I'll, I'll do it f I'll see and test it for them but um so far it's just been it's uh just been five zeros like it's very odd it's the odd one so find the odd DAT file all right uh and then whoops and then drag or put open this in a hex editor program all right mine would be hex workshop like always hold on Right there, that's Hex Workshop. That's why I always use, so I'll provide that in the link too. Open it up in Hex Workshop. Alright. As you can see, you'll see a, a lot of hex and whatnot like usual. So the next thing is just, it's really cake right now. Um, you find the value, use the base converter. Um, mine was, what was it? Three, four, 484 and 385. So 484, 484 first. Alright, so that's 44. Uh, copy this. Alright, oops, copy that. Alright. Control F, which would be find. And then just paste the value that you found. And you're going to see it did find it that's correct it should find it if it doesn't then you have the wrong file alright so it did find it now I'm just gonna calculate this up this was the cache so I'm just gonna put 999 like always um, so as you can see it's oh I'm I just copy the back four because usually the front two number like the, the first two sets of numbers are um, are zeros so uh, 